every man has a price tag they're willing to pay on a woman's head. They'll look at you and rate you and say, you know what? I know I can pay her $1,000 and I could crack those eggs. Oh, you know what? I can take her to that nice five-star restaurant because she's not used to eating out nice. It's going to woo her. And I'm pretty sure that same night I could crack her eggs. She is totally right about this. Also, modern women have made it clear that anyone can buy them for any price. It looks a lot like a sale. I've been practicing my surprised but flattered face for when someone finally offers me a good bribe that won't hurt my pride. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to see leftover women having meltdown. Because men are done with dating. Let's get started right away. Oh my god, so I'm currently out for dinner with this guy. He's like 22, he's a plumber. You know, it's our first date. And we just finished our dinner and he said he was going to the bathroom and it's been like 20 minutes and he hasn't returned. And I still have to get the bill, but I don't think he's coming back. I think he actually bailed on me, and so I have to get the bill now. I just got home, and I am absolutely fucking fuming. This guy has literally bailed on me, and I had to pick up the bill. It was over $200. That's not okay. He hasn't even messaged me or anything. He literally just disappeared, ghosted me. He's gone. Like, what? Wow. I had no idea plumbers were so good at disappearing acts. He might have had to fix a leak in the line between time and space. A real master of disappearing. I guess he's good at ghost plumbing. Maybe check the kitchen sink to see if he's there. Wow, what a shock. The guy likely knew she was an OF-304 and went on a date with her only to disappear in the middle of the night, leaving her with the bill. Good job. Having your man book you a trip and then leaving without him and bringing your friends with you has got to be one of the most diabolical things I've seen. Hey, babe, I just booked the beach house to celebrate your birthday. Oh, my God, babe, I love you so much. My friends can come, right? Your friends? Yes, I'm only bringing Victoria and Blessing. Yeah, I guess. I thought I thought it would just be the two of us, but it's okay. The house can contain six people. All right, baby, thank you. Hey, babe, I'm packing and ready. Should I come pick you up or we meet at the airport? Oh, but I thought I already told you. Told me what? Oh my God, this is kind of awkward, babe. Promise you won't get angry. Angry for what? What happened? Just promise me first. Okay, I won't. Fingers crossed. You know I love you. She better than me. You don't tell me some shit like that. I'm already mad. <laughs> shit. Yeah, babe. I love you too. What happened was since the house can have just six people, I already told my friends I'll celebrate it with them and we're six in numbers. I meant to tell you I'm so sorry. So? Five can come along. Don't worry. We left already. Huh? We're already on the airplane to the beach house. I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you. What are you even saying? On a trip that I fully paid for? I know, babe. I'm so sorry. You promised to forgive me. I organized everything for both of us. Me and you. I paid for everything. I only allowed your friends because it's what you wanted. And now this is what I get? Just please tell me you're joking. Tell me this is a prank. No, it's not, baby. I'm so sorry. Babe, are you there? Babe, <laughs> have fun. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I know you understand. That's why I love you. Hey, babe, we're at the receptionist. They can't find your name there. What name did you use? Babe, Miss Call. <laughs> why aren't you picking up the phone? <laughs> Where are you? Another Miss Call. Babe, please respond. Yes. She's checking the system and she can't find it. Try using your name. Okay. Still nothing. Y'all picking up on what he did? <laughs> she can't find it. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I canceled the reservation. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. I hope you understand. Why would you do that? Please don't embarrass me like this. I'm really exhausted. I need to rest, please. You've always said you wanted to make stupid decisions. You can start by sleeping on the floor. Why did she forget to tell him something so important? Then, even more. How can she act like it doesn't matter? I believe she did not want him to be there. She only wanted to use his money and power to get what she wanted. And this is what happens when you try too hard to be smart. She should remember this lesson for the rest of her life, and she should also remember that she was trying to play him, but he beat her at her own game. It's a tale that my man did this. Oh my goodness, you scrapped the reservation? Wonderful. A surprise treasure hunt in the lobby of a hotel is the perfect way to start a romantic evening. I've always wanted to feel the thrill of being embarrassed in public. It makes our relationship more interesting. 
Hi, I'm Avery and I'm a sex worker. You might have seen me talking about backdoor stuff and therefore I get a lot of hate on the internet from random people with no profile pictures. So I thought it would be quite fun to go through all the things that I have been called in the past three years. And they're all very unoriginal. <laughs> Fatherless. Used. Your dad must be so proud. Your mum must be so proud. I bet your parents are proud. Have some self-respect. Do you not respect yourself? How do you sleep at night? Slag. And all other womanly profanities under the sun. <laughs> Classy lady. I've lost count of the number, but find some dignity. You'll regret this when you're older. You'll be wearing nappies in 20 years. Or five years. Or next year, apparently. What will your kids think? What will your future kids think? I don't even plan on having kids, so it's not even really applicable here, but they love to tell me that, because I'm a woman. Mid, ugly, mid, 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 a few thousand more times. Dirty, filthy, W-H-O-R-E. You're going to end up single and alone. No one will ever marry you. You're never going to find a husband. You're unlovable. You're going to die alone. Hey, Avery. The taunts are piling up on you like Pokemon cards, I have to say. Wow, what a cool hobby. People who think trolling from behind a profile picture with no face is a good thing to do are clearly not very creative. I can't believe how creative these people are. How do they think of these great ideas? Mid? Used? Really groundbreaking stuff. When they say what will happen in the future, it's almost like they're trying out to be fortune readers but don't have a crystal ball or any real knowledge. They might be angry that they aren't brave enough to live their own life. We look forward to more boring and unoriginal comments. Classy lady, keep shining. He spent, he spent a lot of money on me. How did that work? Just you guys don't really make that much money. No, but he makes good money, is, obviously. Is he established? I don't know anything about him. Um, I think he's he's like fourteen and undefeated. He's 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 at the top of what he's doing. But he spent how much on you? Um, eighty five thousand. He can't afford that. I don't even know anything about him. But if you're a UFC fighter and you're not, Maybe like, he had my, I don't know. If his, you're not headlining these I, listen, things, you should not be spending that I, much. Money. I didn't sit there and ask him about his financials and go through them. You know, we went out. He offered, and you know, I'm not gonna say no. Hey, Johnny. So, how do you feel about the fight coming up? Pretty good, man. Pretty good? You guys doing some shopping today? A little bit. A little bit? How much, how much did you spend on you today? 75000 75? 85. Oh, 85. <laughs> okay. Or at least, not a fighter. No man should spend 85 caller on a woman who gives up her honor for a few bucks with any guy. Besides that, I don't understand how he could spend that much on her. It's ridiculous in any case. Like they might have added one more zero to the sum. Like this girl's actions, which are also silly. What I'm about to show you guys is literally one of the weirdest yet most creative things that I've ever been asked to do for the spicy side. I've never heard of this fetish before and it was just too unique not to share. So one of my subscribers has sent me in this massive balloon to my PO box today. It didn't come like this. I actually had to blow it up, believe it or not. <laughs> And he literally just asked me to make a video of me straddling and bouncing on this balloon for like a good 10 minutes without any clothes. So fully undressed until I get to the point that I can make a waterfall on it, if you know what I mean. And it's completely soaked. I don't know if it's going to pop or not. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm pretty nervous. I've never done this before. So, <laughs> this is so funny, but yeah, he said that once I'm done, then he wants me to send it back by mail. So, assuming that it's going to break, I have to send the remaining pieces back to this person. It's clear that the sim who asked for this has no life. He works all week, stalks some random 304 on the internet, and spends all of his hard-earned cash on these silly videos. She, on the other hand, ruins her image to make money so no man will ever be interested in dating her. She might as well go out with the guys who are interested in her. Hi, y'all. I have a question. So, like, I know I'm not ugly. Like, I know, like, and that's, and that's just real. I know I'm a cute little piece of... I'm just, I'm cute. But, like, when I tell you nobody asks me on dates, 
nobody dms me and y'all probably be like well nobody you probably like like no girl all across the board it be mute quiet in my messages nobody's ever like i like you i'm attracted to you let me take you out nobody nobody and i'm starting to think like am i intimidating or are people like is do people actually think like oh she's too good for me she got her life together <laughs> couple things i ain't gonna hold y'all for long ladies if you bookmark this this one going this one gonna do it for you women put way more emphasis on beauty and being pretty and all the aesthetics than men do but listen bookmark this if you're between a five and an eight on the honest attraction scale right which is where she is a man picking you and taking you on a date and hanging out with you and woody woo it's gonna depend on something like this if there's a five and she's a pretty girl you enjoy being around her she's not high maintenance your email box sounds like it's empty it's almost like people are scared of how amazing you are. They might be waiting for a formal request to meet such high standards. Clearly, it's not because they're scared of how awesome you are. It's just that their DM button gets stuck every time they want to message you. Who wouldn't be scared of someone who has their whole life together? Hold on. Maybe they're just getting together in secret to plan the best attack ever. If you liked this show, click like to let other people know. If you click the bell, you'll know when I add new pictures. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Come back to this page to see more videos of people running into walls.